1904, a self-invented Englishman, the Edward James Motheridge, the father of the movies, acquitted murderer, and America's first ragtime photographer. The pictures, so-called sun drawings of Muirbridge, moved. Riffled in rapid succession, they are a frieze of reconstructed notions of local motion and time, often in silhouetted shades against stark whiteness or white starkness, depending on the section you're seated in. He slowed time, showed time slowed, syncopated it to a flicker so the common man might glimpse the complexities of visual prosody. The scansion of tempo, meter, the graphic representation of cadence with a hitch and a halt, you know, we have about turn about it, do just so. Like in the gate of Jim Rice's apocryphal, quote, Negro character on southern plantations, unquote. E. Mealridge's renowned stop time series Occident proved a trotting horse does, as Negroes often must, move forward without their feet touching the ground. Quick dissolve, back to 1863-1869, and A, nitroglycerin, B, the most magnificent project ever conceived, C, orientals and work gangs of the common slew of suspects and rejects into the mix, then stay tuned for another Yet another inspiring and wretched take of America can do. On the soundtrack, the trance inducing four, four of Tom, Tom's, and Chug, 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 Chug of wheels on steel and ballads and reels of backcountry Anglo Celtics and the form seeking call and respect moans of the emancipated and the cosmological five-tone inflected affects of Chinese music and the triple time bobs and jerks of Irish jigs, the music of the world, of the workers, carried over from whence now adds and eases their cross-country crossover of their daily lift and tote, lift and tote. Long shot wide-ranging turmoil. See, separate from link struggles as east meets west and north meets south. See the invaders of, in each instance, benefiting from the tried and true subjugator's tactic of consolidation through destruction, you know, multiplication through subtraction, employed against the entrenched way of life in the name of unification and process toward a continent united under the eagle's wing spread, and in the doing, opening the way for the right of entry, of speculation, opportunity, settlement, religion, and or the American drive to escape to somebody else's territory, indigenous folk to be specific, of whom Sherman, W.T. Sherman, un, uh, Union Bet Terrorist Badass, Remember who recently in the North-South sector signified to his Southern opposition, quote, the North can make a steam engine, locomotive, or rail car. Barely a yard of cloth or pair of shoes can you make, unquote. Then, in a demoralizing display of macho materialism, humbled the rebels, but, charged, but changed his tune when it was time for the piper to be paid by cutting them mucho slack. Note, Sherman was a loud and avowed and unapologetic white supremacist. Nigger was his name for those he reluctantly elevated from the disenfranchised to wage slaves. Note, Sherman signed an armistice that restored to the South the very slaves and privileges they thought they had lost forever. The gentleman's agreement not only did not guarantee the emancipation of slaves, but affirmed pre-war Southern property rights and states governments are in granted carte blanche amnesty. Do not. Note, Sherman did sign much discussed 40 acres in a mule special fields order number 15, granting land 
on off coast islands and quote, ab abandoned rice fields 30 miles back from the sea, unquote. Note, it came to note as President Andrew Johnson knuckling under to good old boy Prussian nixed it. Johnson, 1808-1875, segregationist successor to Abe Lincoln, assassinated while at the theater. Here the lamentations of lobby lackers continue to take shape. Sherman, rewarded for his deeds, succeeds U.S. Grant as Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Army. But for now, in our flashback time frame, the Great Plains is held by Sioux, Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Kyle. Separately and together, they see no benefit to a War Department-backed railroad sneaking through their plains for the deer and the antelope and the elk and the buffalo plain. Sherman studies the state of affairs, says of the natural human inhabitants, quote, the more we can kill this year, the less will have to be killed next. For the more I see of these Indians, the more convinced I am that they will all have to be killed to be or be maintained as a species of paupers." Having the troops to back him up, the big wheels keep on rolling, upgrading from overland trails to an iron road of overland rails, quote, to carry the heavy load, to quote, the hardest working man in show business, James Brown, American singer, Godfather of Soul, 1933-2006. Though the dissolving of the Continental Divide via the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, the most magnificent project ever conceived, it is a task of titanic undertaking, nudge, nudge, told in the toil of the 90% Chinese man power, who happened to be between jobs due to being barred by biased laws from prospecting gold, cussed as coolies, Chinks considered too small, too short, to spike and drill and blast through granite mountains and spin, span ravines and salt flats, prairie and desert and pick and spade and haul and lay and level miles of ties and rails. We recruited finally as the labor of last resort because the first choice good white men were surrendering to gold and silver's siren songs. While from the east working west, a repertory of engineers, surveyors, cooks, mechanics, hewers, haulers, immigrants, mostly Irish, Mormons, young men going west, vets of the late blue and gray, and the recently partially disenfranchised. Here, in stereo, Left channel and right, the work being done along the rail, along the trailway, stuffing, shuffling, buxing, and boots, 13 foot rails, blunt thumping onto the tiles, clang the quavers when banged end to end, lick splits, lick centers, metronomic refrain, and hump and grunt and ring of sledge stripes, three to a spike, 10 spikes to a rail, 400 rails to a mile the clang and tangle of accents and tongues, thunder of hoofbeats and gunshots in the distance, thud of downed buffalo, hunters, hoops, hollers, and but there is under the sweat and stink no harmony, no resonant accord, no melody of off hours amity, not in the scent of ethnic edibles, not in the buzzard, fattening buffalo carrion killed for sport, and left to rot. Young Bill Cody, maestro marksman, conducts the Americanist counterpoint of slaughter to the ecological symphony of Plains Indian life. Kills a minimum of 12 a day for the meat-eating pleasure of the westward destined workmen laying waste to the way of life of the Sioux, Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Kyle. Whether by cosmic design, dumb luck, or some mathematical eruption of mayhem, the duplicating of Sherman's southern strategy brought like results amongst the natives. The deconstruction of forage and food effectively finished